everyone uh, this is Rove and I've been getting a lot of people asking why I'm not updating fanfics and even people offering to help in case I'm having a uh, writer's block or something which is really nice of everyone but luckily it's not that bad it's not writer's block it's something much better I am getting ready to publish a novel <laughs> So, uh, I am laser focused on this. It is going to be self published through uh, Create Space and available on Amazon in both ebook and paperback. So, uh, I, I, I'm because it's self published, that means I do everything. So, I'm I designed a book cover using a, 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 a model I found her fault her uh, photography on uh, DeviantArt, got permission to use it. She made a perfect, perfect main character. Beautiful artwork for this book cover. Um, and I'm going to have to do all the advertisements, which although I do publicity, I have never advertised a novel. And that's, I'm still looking into what I can do besides posting about it all over my fanfics and you know, I'm going to be bragging about it online everywhere and hoping that you guys will spread word of mouth. Even if uh, you don't buy it, maybe one of your friends will. So hopefully that's enough to get this story out. I'm going to be looking into, you know, ads and other ways and local advertising maybe, but I've never done that stuff. It's a little daunting. <laughs> so, um, since this, um, the, I will just keep rambling on about this. And I don't want to do that. And I don't want to spoil anything. So what I'm going to do is read my query letter. Now, query letters are what you send to a literary agent when you want to publish a novel. It's basically, here's my card. This is my story. This is who I am. And, uh, what your, 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 um, summary in your, your query letter is usually what you put on the back of a novel you know and then you have the back thing and that's what it's about it's usually something like that so um, this is what my query letter went like um, imagine ancient Scotland but women ruled the clans PMSing women with big swords and kilts Delaney desperately wants the admiration of her mother, Blood Queen Eilat of Clan Dodatrad, even if recognition means beheading a man. Now of age, she must assume her role as the eldest daughter of Ashby's newest clan, discovering rivalries, ruthless rulers, and romance. Clan Glitro sees this upstart warmongering clan as a filthy spot on their patchwork quilt of clans that knit the land of Ashby in a tentative peace. They warn Delaney that many mysteries surround her birth, and druids had a hand in it. With the help of her best friend Hazel, her nephew Quennel, Saviel the gardener's apprentice, and her beloved Lyndon, Delaney digs into the clan's dark secrets, Queen Eilat's bloody past, her brother's mysterious coven of druids, avaracious schemers at every turn, and a ghost in the dungeon who apparently knows the truth. All the while she tries to balance explosive clan politics, battles forest bandits, competes in archery contests, and gains the right to marry Lyndon. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> uh, gains the right to marry Lyndon and deals with monthly cramps in a medieval world. So that's Daughters of Ashby in a summary. Um, so yeah, it, it deals a lot with uh, feminist issues, proving that, you know, discrimination against women is stupid. Um, my husband likes to tease that I, I probably mentioned menstrual cycles too much in this. Uh, they call it being in a fury. And when a woman is in a fury, 
she's dangerous and that's what makes women women the best uh warriors in ashby men are more the domestic ones they're the ones doing the cooking and the needlework and and yeah they do work as bodyguards because men can be taller and broader than women but women are the warriors they are the fierce ones they they handle pain better and that high pain tolerance um, from dealing with menstrual cycles and dealing with birthing babies that makes them ferocious you know, we fight dirty when we're protecting a baby our family women fight dirty and so that makes them good warriors and that high pain threshold is what makes and and you know that makes them really good warriors and that makes them in the ashby mentality stronger than men but it's also shown how the you know the the stereotype against men that oh men men are supposed to be in the kitchen and sewing is really stupid that men can you know the the, the beloved one Lyndon, her, her boyfriend soon to be her boyfriend <laughs> the boy she really likes and has to win the right to marry him um he's very uh anti-typical for this matriarchal society in that he rides horses he's better at the sword than Delaney is um, he, he's he's very uh, girlish very feminine in that he is a very very good fighter he's a very good warrior um, and that's not typical for Ashby so it's showing how stupid gender stereotypes are no matter what gender you are uh it's just dumb you know and the problem is people believe this people the men in ashby do believe they're weaker than women because they have a lower pain threshold just just as women in today's society do believe we're some women do believe they're we're weaker than men we're, we're we're not as powerful as men because you know oh and i i'm too weak my, my boobs are too big i can't run yeah and ashby they're like fuck that yeah so um so that's what i've been working on is this novel and getting it published and it's going to be awesome it's going to be uh ebooks and paperback and i'm going to be bragging like hell about this once it comes out but that's why i'm not working on fanfics i am so focused on this i'm stressing out and so when I'm stressed out, I, I have been uh, playing Pokemon Go. Uh, Team Mystic. So, uh, that, I mean, this came out just perfect, perfect timing for me. As I, I needed something to de-stress myself. I am so stressed out with this. So now I get to go out. I walk around for a couple of kilometers. Um, yes, I swear this is teaching Americans how to use the metric system awesome just really awesome we really really need to get into the metric system like the rest of the world we're still stuck on miles and feet and you know i never could memorize how many feet in a mile it's so stupid so i've been playing pokemon go i've been on the go myself going all over oregon playing music i just went up to olympia and got to meet one of my fans and shout out to you you were awesome she, she i found out she was working the festival that my band was marching a parade for and so she met me before her shift at the food booth and um, showed me around town a little bit uh, bought me some coffee uh, got me and my husband pizza I mean, that was awesome and uh, you know got in some hugs <laughs> she was just awesome oh my goodness and meeting a fan was just surreal for me and just so freaking awesome so um but yeah my band's been traveling all over the place and that's been taking up a lot of time that i have not had a free weekend uh and you know when i do have free time i'm walking around catching pokemon and just, and the rest of the time i'm focused on this novel and looking up, you know, researching legal issues that I have to deal with, trying to figure out, uh, you know, formatting issues because I'm formatting for two different things. I'm formatting for an ebook, and then it's a completely different format 
for published novel because it's paperback and that's totally different so uh been been focused on that been stressing out i want to return to my fanfics <laughs> i miss them i miss writing about gray and natsu so um but that was that's what i've been up to I'm um, working on this novel, and when Daughters of Ashby comes out, I'm going to be bragging about it like crazy. I'm going to be posting about it till everyone's sick of me. And so, buy it so I f will finally shut up. So, I will uh, post most definitely when Daughters of Ashby comes out. Thank you guys so much for waiting on me. See you guys.